Okay. I already broke a sweat, guys. I should have had that drink. We'll be losing the coat soon, so just so you know. And the shirts, maybe. Oh. <laughs> okay. No, not me. This is you think? <laughs> no, I'm okay. Maybe, maybe, maybe later. You're guapo to our Thanks, Rev. <laughs> All right. Yep. Mr. President, you wow. asked to see me? I know you're busy. What do you need, sir? Sir? I want to give you a word of warning. Sir, I don't know what you heard, but whatever it is, Jefferson started it. Thomas Jefferson resigned this morning. You're kidding. I need a favor. Oh, whatever you say, sir, Jefferson will pay for this behavior. Talk less. I'll use the press. I'll write under a pseudonym. You'll see what I can do to him. I need you to draft an address. Yes, he resigned. You can finally speak your mind. He's stepping down so we can run for president. <laughs> Good luck defeating you, sir. I'm stepping down. I'm not running for president. Sorry, wife. One last time. Relax, have a drink with me. One last time. Let's take a break tonight and then we'll teach them how to say goodbye. You and I. I want to talk about neutrality Sir, with Britain and France on the verge of war Is this the best I time? I want to talk cause in partisan fighting what? Pick up a pen, start writing I want to talk about what I have learned The hard-won wisdom I have earned As far as the people are concerned You have to serve You could continue to serve No, one last time The people will hear from me One last time and if we get this right, we're gonna teach them how to say goodbye. You and I. Mr. President, they will say you're weak. No, they will see we're strong. Your position is so unique. So I use it to move them along. Why do you have to say goodbye? If I say goodbye, the nation learns to move on. Like the scripture says, everyone shall sit under their own vine and fig tree, and no one shall make them afraid. They'll be safe in the nation we've made. I want to sit under my own vine and fig tree, a moment alone in the shade, at home in this nation we made. One last time, last time. Though, in reviewing the incidents of my administration, I'm unconscious of intentional error. I am nevertheless too sensible of my defects not to think it probable that I may have committed many errors. I shall also carry with me the hope that my country will view them with indulgence. And that after 45 years of my life dedicated to its service with an upright seal, the faults of incompetent abilities will be consigned to oblivion, as I myself will soon be to the mansions of rest. I anticipate with pleasing expectation that retreat in which I promise myself to realize the sweet enjoyment of our midst of my fellow citizens, the benign, the benign influence of good laws under a free government, the ever favorite object of my heart, and the happy reward, as I trust, of our mutual cares, of labors and dangers, one last time.
Thanks, everyone. That's it for me for tonight.